Nothing terrible happened this week and nobody died. Awesome. That's the whole show. Bye. What's up, everybody? It's Keefe, and you're watching the Weekly Ritual Ghost Cults News Show right here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Ghost Cult Magazine is a small business. With that out of the way, let's get started. In case you missed it, features at Ghost Cult Magazine. We start this week's features off with our exclusive interview with Jay from Gizmachi. The band returned after a 14-year hiatus with their brand new album out now, Omega Collide. We also talked to the guys from Above Snakes. Their new single, I Feel Bad, is out now. We also dropped our brand new video of your top live streams to watch for May 2021. In our new series, 5 Minute Reviews, we cover the brand new Gojira album, Fortitude, out today on Roadrunner Records. You also have just a few days left to sign up for the 14-day social media challenge where music industry experts like myself and a bunch of others teach you and your band how to rock social media. There's a link in the description with more info how to sign up. We also cut a sick promo for Liquid Death Mountain Spring Water, courtesy of yours truly and our fabulous producer and director, Omar Cordy of OJ City Picks. Get 10% off every case you buy with the code Ghost Cult in the link below. And now, the news rundown. Kicking off the news this week with the story everybody's talking about, the humongous hardcore show with very little social distancing, led by Madball, Blood Clot, Wisdom and Chains and others in New York City. Tons of hardcore heads, everybody coming out for the nice warm weather and a big hardcore show in the park, just like we used to do before the pandemic. But a lot of people are in uproar. Very few masks, no social distancing. I know that people are fatigued from the COVID and they want to just live their lives and go back to shows, but we're not sure this was the smartest course of action. And look, we love those bands and we love a lot of people that put on the show when we're at the show. But you guys got to be smart, and wear your masks, and keep social distancing. We are not out of this thing yet. In a new interview with Australia's Heavy Magazine, Serge Tanky of System of a Down mused about the future of the band. Last fall, they put out two new charity singles, their first new music in 15 years, and Serge hopes someday the band can make more music. The band has struggled for years to follow up their hypnotized and mesmerized albums of 2005. We brought you the news not too long ago that Download Festival, the grandfather of all the heavy metal festivals in the world, had to postpone their 2021 festival because they just could not put it on with the way the conditions are in the world. However, they are coming back with a vengeance in 2022 and they just announced 70 new bands. That's right, 70. And among those bands, headline type bands like Deftones and Korn and Megadeth and Electric Wizard and Steel Panther, it's gonna be sick. Primus has announced they have rebooked their Tribute to Kings tour, where the band will hit the road playing the entire album of Rush's A Farewell to Kings as a fitting tribute to the band, especially since we lost Neil Peart early in 2020. The black metal legends Dark Throne have announced their brand new album, the cleverly titled Eternal Hails. How many of you have signed off an email or something? in the last few years with Eternal Hails or Infernal Hails, but Eternal Hails is the brand new album coming soon from Dark Throne. Their last album, Old Star, was a banger, and this new one, just like the last one, will be out on Peaceville Records this summer. Il Nino has announced their Ill Texas Familia Tour, featuring bands like Upon a Burning Body, Insight, King 810, and many more. They're also gonna play some festivals, such as the Blue Ridge Rock Festival and Orlando in Orlando, Florida, with Judas Priest. 13 major musical artists, including rockers like Rise Against, Radiohead, Foo Fighters, and pop artists like Phoebe Bridgers, are banding together to support Roadie Relief, and have a charity auction to support roadies and tour people who are out of work because of the pandemic. They're going to be auctioning off a series of Brompton bicycles, which I think is super cool. Soon we'll be getting to the point where you won't have to see your favorite bands on a small screen. You're going to be able to see them in person. Seven Dust has announced a socially distanced tour. In-person shows coming this summer. Super cool. Direct support will come from Austin Mead and our pals in Kira. LA Guns is coming back with a brand new live album, Cocked and Loaded Live, where they play some of their greatest hits and a lot more last year at a concert. And now they're putting out a, a live record on Frontiers SRL, a really cool label we like. And the band recently settled their lawsuit against the other version of L.A. Guns headed up by Steve Riley. So now Steve's band is called Steve Riley's L.A. Guns. Tracy Guns and Phil Lewis have the other L.A. Guns. They continue to talk shit in the press. I don't know why, but two L.A. Guns if you like them in the first place. Probably more L.A. Guns than you. Hark! Do 
I hear an angel singing? I don't know what the fuck that was, but I'm talking about Sarah Jezebel Diva. She's coming back with a brand new project we told you about recently, Torn Between Two Worlds. Her new single, All Eyes On Me, is out this week. We are premiering her new video next week for that track, as well as having an exclusive interview with Sarah. We are pumped. Can you tell? It's time for another edition of What Does Corey Taylor Think? I know you can't wait. You can't wait for us to tell you what Corey Taylor thinks about something, because right now, probably statistically speaking, he is talking to somebody about his feelings somewhere, and someone else, probably us or another music website, is talking all about it. Corey Taylor gave an interview this week where he said, Lars Ulrich was right about Napster. I swear I did not wear this Metallica shirt on purpose, but here we are. I think Lars was also right about Napster. What do you think? I wish Corey would tell us what he thinks in person in an interview someday, but in the meantime, we're gonna keep riding his dick. I had to say that with a straight face, but it's hard. We don't wanna ride Corey's dick, that's his white job. But we'd like to talk to you someday, Corey. Like, this is a plea. Like, let's have an interview. I, I think we met once, it was really nice. Tetrarch has dropped the final single from their upcoming new album. The single and video for Addicted is out now. We are super excited for this new Tetrarch album. A long time in the making, their first for Napalm Records. Bay Area thrash metal legends Exodus have announced that they are postponing their expected new album, Persona Non Grata, was supposed to drop in July, is now coming out in November. I brought you the news recently that drummer Tom Hunting is battling with former cancer. There's a GoFundMe launch. We'll have a link in the description below. Please keep donating and helping. These bands don't have money for metal, medical expenses, but in the meantime, the Exodus record is coming out and it is going to be a rager. They're just waiting until Tom can fully participate. Big news in the Iron Maiden camp this week as two former members, Paul Diano and Blaze Bailey, will be inducted into the Heavy Metal Hall of Fame along with legendary Iron Maiden artist Derek Riggs. This is the first announcement of this year's Heavy Metal Hall of Fame inductees. More names will be announced soon. Metalville Records this summer is going to release a sick Sisters of Mercy metal tribute album, Black Waves of Adrenochrome, featuring a ton of awesome metal bands of who I'm going to read off my phone right now because I can't remember shit anymore. Atrocity, Extremo, Paradise Lost, Cradle of Filth, Nevergreen, Dayona, Creator, Cadaverous Condition, Dan Swan, Crematory, and more. Testament frontman Chuck Billy will participate in a panel for the brand new film Rumble, a celebration of Native American music and culture. In addition to Chuck, many rock and other artists will be there. My guy Nez of Allison Chains is native, he's part of that film project, and we're super proud of Chuck and all he does to raise awareness for indigenous people. Super groups are everywhere in 2021, and the newest one is Go Ahead and Die. How rude. Go Ahead and Die features Max Cavalera, his son Igor, and Zach Coleman, formerly a chemist. They're a pretty cool band. It's a bit of hardcore and metal, and they've got a bunch of singles out, and they've got a new album coming out from Nuclear Blast Records this summer. The last sessions, the final photo sessions of Kurt Cobain while he was alive in Nirvana, are being auctioned off in an NFT. We've been talking a lot about NFTs lately. Non-fungible tokens. You can trade art or music or anything really of value and auction them off for a ton of money. This is a super cool project and also includes photos of other Nirvana members like Dave Cole and Chris Novoselic. I hope Pat Smear is. It's not Schmear like cream cheese. It's Pat Smear like Pat Smear like Pat Smear. Not Schmear. He's not big. Spirit Box dropped a brand new video and single today for their song, Circle With Me. The band has been crushing it with a series of singles and killer videos as they lead up to their upcoming, highly anticipated new album, their first in their new deal with Rise Records. Red Fang dropped a brand new single, Funeral Coach, their second single from their upcoming new album, Arrows, coming on Relapse Records this June. It's another banger. We love Red Fang. Pre-orders for Arrows are live now. We want to send some well wishes out to Flora Johnson of Nightwish. She recently had gallbladder surgery, for which she's recovering well. Flora has been keeping us all entertained with her weekly covers and stories and Q&As on YouTube. Nightwish is having a two-night global live stream event at the end of May, and is the final show ever from Marco Vitala, their bass player who's retiring, and likely to be the announcement of their new bassist. I hope Snowy Shaw. I hope Snowy Shaw. We're putting it out into the world. Vibes, vibes, Snowy Shaw, vibes. Axis TV is bringing back their long-lived The 90s show with the first episode featuring Pearl Jam. Axis 
TV, if you didn't know, is round-the-clock music programming produced for rockers, produced with rockers, with a lot of rock bands and rock artists as hosts. Super cool. It's in about 50 million households. Go turn it in. Ask your cable provider or steal it, whatever you do with kids. I don't know what the kids do these days. Steal the show still? I don't know. What is it? Did I just promote illegal downloading? I don't know. Maybe. Disturbed, Incendium, and Heavy Metal Entertainment are releasing a Disturbed comic book. This is pretty exciting. Based on Disturbed's mascot, The Guy. Not very inventively named, but very memorable. Their logo mascot for over 20 years. And a Disturbed graphic novel. A lot of bands are doing graphic novels. We announced the King Diamond one last week. Anthrax is doing a graphic novel. Blondie is doing a graphic novel. Graphic novels for everyone. Just in time for his birthday this week. Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes dropped a brand new single, My Town, featuring Joe from the band Idols. It's a banger. It's their first new song in a few years. Of course, Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes were supposed to tour the world behind that album. They've done a couple of live streams. They've done a couple of Q&As. They're teasing other things. Maybe a tour soon. Gallows is supposed to be playing a couple of festivals this summer, like Reading and Leeds. So Frank is busy. Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes is busy. This song is a banger. New York's modern metal band, Nefarian, dropped a brand new EP this week, Foul, and a brand new single and video, Life on Fire. It's killer. The band features former members of I Kill Ya and current members of other bands like Alakine's Gun. The band rocks, and so does the track. Sad news as extreme metal band Begat the Nifle and this band caught on fire and burned to a crisp recently. There's a GoFundMe launch to try to help the band raise new funds for a brand new band. Doubly bad, not only did they lose their touring vehicle, their drummer Josh was living in the van and lost a lot of his personal belongings, his laptop and other stuff. This really sucks. The band got a huge break recently as they were just last week announced as the opening band on the major death metal tour of the summer, DSI, Cataclysm, and Eternal Bleeding. Hopefully the guys can still make that tour. Please donate if you can. There'll be a link in the description below to help. Icelandic post-rock masters Solstafir were blessed with the Rock Album of the Year from the Icelandic Grammys, which has a very long Icelandic name I cannot pronounce and I'm not gonna try to. But their album, Endless Twilight of Codependent Love, was my personal favorite album of last year. It was a banger, and they got the Rock Album of the Year. Kudos to Soul. Finally in the news this week, we have Willow Smith, or just Willow now, the daughter of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith has a brand new song out, and it's punk rock and alternative. It's kind of in the vein of Avril Lavigne, or early Katy Perry, or Paramore, or a bunch of other bands, no doubt, whoever. And it's called Transparent Soul. It's a cool video for it. It kind of rocks. She sings pretty melodic punk in it. And of course, who's on the track? Travis Barker. Travis Barker of Blink-182 and a million other bands that he's in, usually. If you're going to cross over from one genre to another, usually Travis Barker's your guy if it's punk or alternative. Props to Willow, it's a pretty catchy track, you gotta say. It's catchy. It's not heavy. It's catchy. I shit you not. Unbelievable stories you can't make up. This week's I shit you not brings us a story near and dear to our heart. Gore donated a pair of odorous youngest, that's right, Dave Rocky's real hands cast by Dave from his costume when he was alive to benefit a Richmond area charity, the Gloves Soul or Hands, sold for $2,500, which is crazy, but crazy good for a good cause. Rest in peace, Dave. Now for a look at Who Rules It Streaming. This week's Who Rules It Streaming starts off with Stephen Carpenter of Deftones. Deftones recently put out a brand new video and single ceremony from their celebrated album Poems, and Stephen played an awesome playthrough for guitar aficionados and Deftones freaks. Also this week was the April edition of Metal Injection Slay It Home Fest with performances from Vintersea, Navarla, Moonshade, Take Over and Destroy, Black Therapy, Thelane Fall, Stonecutters, Thwart, Saren, The Drowned God, Dead by Wednesday, The Sundial, and many more. There was also a sick cover collabo, a Cradle of Filth cover deep cut, featuring members of Darkest Hour, Vital Remains, Deeds of Flesh, Misery Index, Scale the Summit, Atheist Scour, and more. And now, some of the music out for New Music Friday. Alchemia, Inception, Wormhole Death Records, Arched Fire, Remote Control, Wormhole Death Records, As We Suffer, The Fallen Pillars, Self-Released, Becarus, Homo Hominy Brutus, Everlasting Spew, Before We Fall, Healed by Fear EP, Inverse Records, Bloody Hell, The Bloodening, Rock Shots Records, Bunker 66, Beyond the Help of Prayers, Dying Victims, 
Clouds, Dolu, re-release, personal records, Dark, Inside the Void EP, self-released, Destruction, Bestial Invasion of Hell, re-release, High Roller Records, Devoured, The Curse of Sabda Power, Vicro Blast Records, Discarded, Discarded Self-Released, Doomcraft, Seeds, Magnetic Eye Records, Dukov, Death is OK EP, Horror, Pain, Gore, Death Records, Electromancy, Robot Black Metal EP, Self-Released, Evile, Hell Unleashed, Napalm Records, Furnask, Seven, Kinoma, Van Records, Ganoon, Inert and Unerring, Loud Rage, Gojira, Fortitude, Roadrunner Records, Gorgang, Long Live the Grime EP, Blood Blast, Hammerhead, Grand Currents, Self-Released, Insane, Victims, Dying Victims, Last Hyena, How Soon Is Mars, Stereo Brain, Lost at Sea, Motion Sickness, Revival Records, Lost Relics, Now or Even EP, Golden Robot Records, Lucifuge, Infernal Power, Dying Victims, Meridian Dawn, The Pagan Poetry EP, Seeing Red Records, Notverd, Vondering, Osmos Records, Necromantheon, Visions of Transmegistos, Hell's Headbangers, Indie Recordings, Nuclear Revenge, Dawn of the Primitive Age, Awakening Records, Oceans, We Are Not Okay EP, Nuclear Blast Records, Order of the Wolf and Pessimista, Split, Trepanation Records, Oryx, Lamenting a Dead World, Translation Loss Recordings, Pain of Salvation, 12 to 5, B, Re-Release, Inside Out Music, Parallaxy Occlusion, Exponential Decay EP, Blood Harvest, The Plague, Within Death, Bitter Loss Recordings, Plasmodium, Towers of Silence, Transcending Obscurity Records, Poverty's No Crime, A Secret to Hide, Metalville Records, Residual Self Revenge, Slip Trick Records, Ritual, Valley of the Kings Re-Release, High Roller Records, Royal Blood, Typhoons, Warner Brothers Records, Silent Verdict, Condemned, Wormhole Death Records, Stormwind, Rising Symphony Re-Release, Black Lodge Recordings, Temtress, Ritual Warfare, Wormhole Death Records, Tetrarch, Unstable, Napalm Records, Thirsty Demon, Unconscious Suicide, Awakening Records, The Undertaking, Funeral Psalms, Solid State Records, Ungfell, S. Graut, Eisenwald Records, Universally Estranged, Reared Up in Spectral Predation, Blood Harvest, Viking, Do or Die Re-Release, High Roller Records, Vried, Wild Northwest, Season of Mist, Warish, Next to Pay, Riding Easy Records, Yellow Tooth, The Burning Illusion, Orchestrated Misery. And now for a look in our mailbag. This week's mailbag features The Blackening Picture Disc Vinyl from Machine Head. This is one of the greatest albums of all time. I can't ever shut the fuck up about it, how much I love it. And we got this awesome picture disc in the mail. It's got two vinyls, double-sided picture discs, and a deluxe lyric book. It's awesome. If you made it to this part of the show, you know what. It's the end of the show. Thanks for supporting GhostColdMag.com, a small business. As we say every week, it's a tough time. So please, take care of yourselves. Take care of everyone else. I don't fucking know what to say. I have no ending for this shit today. Stay fucking metal!